if you bounce between the Windows and the Linux operating system, they obviously do things different on a command line level. But here are a few things that I'm going to show you which will make it easier. If you just recently went into Linux, and uh, especially if you bounce between the uh, the two operating systems, Windows and Linux, you'll notice that the slashes are different, uh, calling directory listings are different, and so on. However, you can do Linux type stuff in the Windows environment if you just know how. What you see here, this is a regular command prompt in Windows 7, and this is a PowerShell. Uh, the PowerShell is available by clicking the Windows Start logo and then typing the word Power, and you'll see it. It's blue by default instead of black. Uh, but before we, we'll do that, if you ever wondered why there's a backslash for a uh, path character in DOS, there's a web page for that. And being I'm do, doing things in a command line way, I'm using a text-based browser. Oh yes. Links. Alright, let's see if I can remember this. Blogs, MSDN, com B. And yes, people did used to browse like this. Okay, I didn't do that for memory. I actually have it. <laughs> I actually have it in a separate window here. No, I did not remember this address. I'm just typing it out manually. But did I get it right? Oh, I did. Cool. So down here, it actually does explain. I will have this in the in the more section. So if you want to take a look at it. Okay, it says right here, little known secret about MS-DOS. DOS developers were not particularly happy about the state of affairs because they all used Xenix machines. What this says in the rest of this is that you can use front slashes or back slashes when typing out uh, path locations in Windows or DOS. So let's see if that actually works. I'm going to go to the root of C cd backslash windows front slash system32 backslash drivers front slash etsy now there's a back, a front, a back, and a front. Will it work? It does. Back and it corrects it for you. Now if you're in the Linux, uh, going from Linux to Windows and back, this is actually good because you're totally used to using the front slash. So if I do uh, from the root of C, CD front slash windows, front slash system 32, front slash drivers, front slash Etsy, it will go there. So that's pretty cool. But as you know, when you do an ls-l, nope, that will not work. Not in the regular one anyway, but in the PowerShell it does. But you have to do it in a specific way. If I do the same thing, cd front slash windows system 32 drivers front slash etsy, I can get there no problem. But if I do an L ls dash l, you get a big old nasty gram from that. But if you add in the path after ls dash l, it will work. So if I do um, ls dash l slash windows system drivers etsy. I get it, and it shows the files that I have in my Etsy folder under drivers. And that also works if you do LSL with a drive letter. So if I do ls-l C drive Windows System 32 drivers Etsy, same deal, it will work. So when you're in the regular prompt, you can do the uh, front slash when you're doing directory, different directory, changing to different directories like this, um, but LSL doesn't work. But it does work in the PowerShell, provided that you add the path after LSL and it will work. And uh, just for historical purposes, don't forget to check out that link in the more link below this video so you can actually see why, get the whole scoop on why there's a backslash at a DOS prompt, which is now known as a Windows command prompt.